Thank you very much, Eve, for hey, actually taking no the time problem. out no to actually talk to us. Uh, we just wanted to just ask, uh, how did the uh, the training camp go so far? Is it all going? Up yeah, it's plan? going to plan. Uh, training hard, proper old school trainer as well. Out here in the lakes, it's uh, beautiful scenery and everything. So yes. it's going good, hard go. Train hard, hard quite go. easy. We've seen sort of the the pictures on social media and Instagram, etc. And you were even swimming this morning. Yeah, and swimming for an hour in the in the lake is absolutely cold body. water. I would imagine it's definitely not easy. That's for sure. Fantastic. And I uh, just wanted to ask, uh, physically, are you feeling all good? No injuries, no, no concerns? No, nope, I feel great. Up? I just can't wait now to get in there and do the job. Great. Uh, Joseph Parker, your opponent, uh, he's sort of undefeated from New Zealand. And we just wanted to see, have you sort of seen any uh, sort of chinks in his armour or deficiencies in his game? Potentially exposed in the night on the 23rd of September. You'll soon see on the 21st of September. Okay, we're just going <laughs> to tune in, right? you got to tune in and you're going to find out. Great, so I just wanted to know, uh, fighting in front of your home fans in Manchester, is that going to sort of give you a big uh, boost versus yeah. fighting abroad? Unbelievable, it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a great night. I've never fought in Manchester before, even though it's my own town. Uh, it's, going to be, uh, it's going to be an electrifying performance, especially the, this first fight is going to be the world title fight as well. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait, especially... I'm sure and it's going to be atmosphere. the first event in the MEN as well, sure. since what happened, got a... Um, no course. words what happened there uh, really, but uh, like I say, my heart goes out to all the families, but I just can't wait now to put on a show for Manchester. Fantastic, thank you so much. And I uh, just wanted to ask, uh, in terms of uh, when you're preparing for a fight of this magnitude, do you have to consider uh, dieting or supplements and nutrition and things like that? Or because you're fighting at a heavyweight category or class, it does the sort of weight come into consideration? Um, my dad has a set weight and whatever else, but heavyweights is on diet. Heavyweights and heavyweight. Uh, we just got to eat plenty of food and the right types of food, like you say, the vitamins and all stuff like that. It, it all comes in uh, in account. You've got to stay in your food and eat the right foods because at the end of the day, you are what you eat. That makes sense. So it all makes a, a difference at the end. Yeah, sort of. 100% it does. Fantastic. And just wanted to say, uh, on the, uh, the, the boxing side of things, how did you sort of start? How do you get into boxing like to begin with? Like what made you decide to say, oh, okay, I want to sort of turn to amateur or professional boxing as such? I had, um, I was messing around with boxing since I was about five, six year old. I always seen my dad take my brother on the pads and stuff and he used to mess around with us. And I always just look out the window and see um, my dad going for long runs and all stuff like that. And I wanted to do it as well. And uh, ever since then I just carried on uh, doing it and I had my first fight at 11 year old. Oh, wow. And uh, just fell in love with the sport and uh, I always said to myself, this is what I want to do and I want to achieve the best whatever you can achieve. I want to be world champion. And I said that from a young age and uh, sacrificed everything. Uh, come out of school and everything. And I just said to myself, I will be champion. And uh, I just fully dedicated my life and I'm almost there. Well, that is the ultimate achievement to be the, the heavyweight champion of the world. It's, yeah. it's definitely got a certain cachet in boxing as such because it's sort of the, the biggest prize in boxing to be 100%. the heavyweight champion. That's, that's all I was ever interested in. In the amateur, as soon as I turned, uh, I won everything in the amateur. As soon as I turned 18, I won the world, I turned straight pro. And uh, I said to myself, I'm going to learn my job, as a, uh, my job as a professional, get the rounds in, and then get very professional and be ready for world champion. Fantastic. That's, that's my dream, and that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, when you are victorious on the 23rd of September... Uh, I will be with, victorious on the 23rd of September. With Joseph Parker, uh, do you have sort of any future plans after that in terms of uh, fighting here uh, again in England rather than sort of moving abroad? Because I knew like other fighters, like let's say Dillian White, is actually now going to the States to have his match there to perhaps you know raise his profile overseas. Um, it doesn't matter to me. All it matters to me is that I get every single one of them belts. Whoever's got a belt has got a fight. So the ultimate goal would be to become the undisputed unified uh, heavyweight champion. Yeah, of the world. 100%. I believe it will be. So at the minute, I'm not, I'm not looking past Joseph Parker. It's one fight at a time with me. Yes, he's and, an undefeated uh, fighter, so he is a very yeah, good, he is. good quality he's, fighter. He's, yeah, he is. I'm not taking nothing away from Joseph Parker. He's a good fighter. And uh, on 23rd of September, he's going to get beaten no matter what because that's what we are. I believe this is my destiny. This is my time now to shine, and I'm going to take it with both hands. Oh, fantastic. And just to ask, in terms of uh, your personal favourite boxer of all time, who would it be and, and why? There's a, there's a few. You've always got the same Muhammad Ali because he was a great. He's a lot of uh, people's favourite, but he was a great for a reason because he had the, the talk, he had the charm, and uh, he could fight as well with the movement. But I like uh, Larry Holmes as well because he, he had the best jab in boxing. 
Yeah, it's fantastic how he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. And uh, I like um, I guess, yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Agra, Tommy Yance, because he was elusive as well. So, a few of the old greats alike. Fantastic. Um, and just uh, hobbies outside of boxing. In terms of, do you sort of relax in your downtime and do things like fishing or some sort of a sp other sports other than boxing? Hobbies outside of sport. I would, I would tell you that my hobbies, but at the minute I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nah, see. My hobbies outside of um, boxing are tennis. Uh, I like sport activities and stuff like that and um, watching films. Just some chilled out character. Oh, grand. So that actually ties in fantastically with our next question. What is your favourite film and why? I'm going to say... Uh, Braveheart. Aha, uh -huh. Braveheart, yes. Yeah, Freedom. Freedom. Uh, it's based on a true story <laughs> as well. Of course, it's, and, it's, it's uh, a historical connotation, yeah. but it's actually a great It is, it's a classic great, action it's movie. A great classic uh, film, and uh, yeah, I just I love the, the world to win. No, oh, that's a fantastic childhood favourite uh, of a film of ours as well. It's yeah, one it of is. Mel Gibson's, I guess, greatest. He is. Greatest He's film. a great actor as well, and uh, yeah, it's a great inspiration film as well. So we had some friends and uh, fans ask us if you were not a boxer, uh, what would you do outside of the ring? Something different? Could be anything. Um, I'd probably be a tennis player. A tennis player, yes. Yeah. A professional tennis player. So I probably, I'd probably work way into tennis. Yeah. So Roger Federer is lucky, really. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen this he year, have had the, the height advantage with the serve there. <laughs> No, definitely. I would have kicked his ass. Fantastic. And the other thing I would to ask on a personal level is like if you've travelled around and you've been on your travels when you were boxing, etc. Is there a place that you've sort of seen or been to that you thought was really, really good and fantastic that you perhaps want to visit again? Or a place that you've never been to that you'd love to visit? Um, there's a lot of places where I haven't been and there's a lot of places where I've been. Do you know what? There's not one place better than right here where we're at now and there. Lake, uh, Lake Windermere, so, Lake District, it's absolutely beautiful here and you're not getting no better. I I picture this as like it's a picture of heaven. It's, it's, it is, it's pretty beautiful. much like paradise. I'd say probably it this is, is yeah. better than Big Bear, even in the States where it's, they prepare exactly. this, this here, I just absolutely love it. I even when I'm off, I just come around here and chill and relax. I just find this place beautiful. Great, and um, yeah, I think the last question was in terms of like fan of any other sports, but you've answered that already, tennis, like you said. So yeah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. So, having seen your this training, one. it uh, reminds us of doing those endurance type events. Remember doing like Tough Mudder, Judgment Day, Back to the Trenches, but what you guys are doing is a lot tougher than that. <laughs> we were doing the light yes. versions of that, you guys are doing oh, like really me serious. Me dad's hardcore, that's for sure. The most we've ever done is like 13 miles, and that almost killed us. We coughed up a lung, and the heart rate was going. We had St. John's Ambulance there to make sure people. <laughs> didn't pass out and That's people right. got uh, the, the shakes from the cold water etc so. if we if we passed out we had to just chuck some water on and say get moving again you get moving again wow so That's that really it. is old school, <laughs> old school is. training you got no chance for me dad wow. any rest fantastic we'll definitely keep all fingers and toes crossed and make sure that you win the, the belt that you've worked so hard to uh, sort of acquire yeah and hopefully upwards and onwards from there 100 thank and you very thank much thank you Hugi, for seeing us once yeah, again thank no you very problem. much sir. all the best thanks a lot sir Take